Hello and welcome to Political Science 398, Advanced Political Science Methods. I am Professor Gandusky Allen. In this course, you will learn how to use advanced statistical methods in political science research. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the course's Blackboard site. The first link you should be familiar with is the course syllabus, schedule, and participation guidelines. If you click on the syllabus, schedule, and participation guidelines link in the left hand menu here, you can access the syllabus and schedule. I am not going to go through the entire syllabus and schedule in this video. You should read the syllabus and schedule on your own. Please note that my contact information is at the top of the syllabus. If you email me or post something on the discussion board for me, I will respond back to you within 24 hours. Also note that you should read the participation guidelines. Now I'm going to talk about course modules. Every, each week in the course, you will be responsible for completing certain tasks in two modules. You can access the modules by clicking the modules link, link on the left hand side menu here. Modules for a particular week will appear the Saturday before the week begins. Right now, you should only have access to Module 0, 1, and 2. Module 0 is meant to help you get familiar with the course site. Module 1 is the first module with course content. When you open up a module for the first time, you should always read the module introduction and due dates for module assignments. It gives you a module overview and the due dates for the weekly assignments. Note that the assignments are all due on at Mountain Time. The assignments in this class include reading assignments, lectures, learning check assignments, lecture discussion boards, lab assignments, research application assignments, tests, and a semester-long research project. If you go back to the module, all the assignments are listed on the main module page in the order in which they are due. With respect to reading assignments, I obviously cannot monitor if you read the book or not. However, you are strongly encouraged to read by the recommended time on the module schedule. With respect to lectures, I will give you several lecture links every week. The lecture video in sections, the lecture slides, learning check assignments, and a link to the lecture discussion board. The lectures are posted on YouTube. The lectures in this course will be divided up into sections, and after watching the section, you will have to complete a brief learning check assignment before you move on to the next section. If you are able to print out PDF documents, you should use the lecture slides I provide in Blackboard to take notes. And if you have any questions about the lecture, please post them on the lecture discussion board. Next, you will be responsible for completing lab assignments through a program called SPSS. During the first week of the course, I will send you instructions on how to coordinate with the Boise State Help Desk to get access to SPSS from your home for free. You can read more about SPSS in the syllabus and in Module 0, Getting Started, Making the Most of Technology, Computer Setup, and Skills. When you have a lab assignment due, I will provide three links for you, the lab video, the safe assignment upload link, and the SPSS datasets. The first lab video goes over how to use basic functions in SPSS. If you ever forget how to open or use SPSS, you should rewatch the lab one video. All the other videos will focus on how to run the statistical analyses for the particular lab you are focusing on. Also note that you must complete your lab assignments in a Word document and upload them to Safe Assignment to complete the assignment. Note that you can work on your lab assignments with other class members. You can meet other members of the course during online office hours on Zoom. I will set up Zoom breakout rooms so students can work in groups to complete assignments, while at the same time being able to ask me questions about the assignments. If you cannot make, cannot make office hours but would still like to work with other students, you can reach out to the other students under the discussion board link in the left hand side menu here. If you click on the link, it will take you to the discussion board. If you, if you click on the looking for study partners link, 
you can create a post. Make sure to note when you are available to meet. Please also make sure to only work together through an online service such as Zoom or FaceTime. Next, throughout the course, you will be responsible for completing several research application assignments. Most of these assignments require the use of SPSS. You can complete the assignments on your own or with other students. You can find out more information about these assignments in Module 0 and 1. The other assignments you will need to do for this course are exams and a semester-long research project. When those assignments are due, you will find instructions on how to complete them in the appropriate module. Note that when you complete an assignment and I grade it, it will appear in your My Grade section. Also note that you will always know what your grade is in this course if you look at the final grade given current work row. Last, if you have any questions about the course content, please post them under the discussion board in course questions or just email me. If you have any technical questions about Blackboard, please click the Blackboard help link on the left hand side menu of the screen.